things you didn't know about Bill Nye. When we see Bill Nye, most of us think of that 90s show theme song. Many people who are adults now grew up watching this guy explain complex science to us in the most straightforward way. In the past decade, he's had a resurgence in popularity. Want to know all about this legend's life? Keep watching. Number 15, his childhood. Let's start with Bill Nye's beginnings. Well, he was born in Washington, D.C. in 1955 to Jacqueline Jenkins Nye, a Nazi codebreaker for the U.S., and Edwin Darby Nye, who was a prisoner of the war during World War II. When Bill's father was in a Japanese prisoner camp, he lived without electricity and learned how to tell time with the shadow of a shovel as a sundial. It seems Edwin passed his passion for sundials onto his son. More on the importance of that later. Nye grew up in Washington, D.C. and attended high school at Sidwell Friends, a prestigious school that is highly selective in admitting students and also abides by the Quaker religion. We know, imagine Bill Nye as a traditional Quaker from the 1700s. Feels a bit strange. Number 14, finding his passion. After high school, Bill Nye moved to Ithaca, New York to attend Cornell University. He studied at the Sibley School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Aside from engineering, Nye took an interest in astronomy and enrolled in a class taught by none other than Carl Sagan. For those who don't know, Carl Sagan was an astronomer, astrophysicist, and astrobiologist. He's authored over 20 books and wrote 600 scientific papers. In the 80s, he narrated and co-wrote the award-winning television series called Cosmos, A Personal Voyage. Sagan founded the Planetary Society, the most prominent nonprofit and non-governmental organization that promotes space exploration. Guess who's now the CEO of Planetary Society and has been for the past decade? Bill Nye. Number 13, post-college triumphs. Once graduating from university, Nye packed his bags and headed to Seattle to work for one of the two biggest aircraft companies in the world, Boeing. While working as an engineer for Boeing Corporation, he invented the hydraulic pressure resonance suppressor tube, which Boeing uses in their 747 airplanes. What exactly does this thing do? Sometimes called a pulsation or ripple dampener, the suppressor tube minimizes the effect of vibrations on the planet's system. As a result, the flight feels smoother and more comfortable for everyone on board. Next time you're on a smooth trip, remember to thank Bill Nye. Number 12, a career in comedy. You would think that a mechanical engineer who invented something handy would keep his career on a science-oriented path. But Bill Nye isn't just anyone. He seemed content at his job at Boeing, until he won a Steve Martin lookalike contest in Seattle. When they were young, they did kind of look similar, don't you agree? That achievement propelled him to pursue life as a comedian. During the day, he continued to work at Boeing, and then at night, he performed stand-up routines at local open mic nights, which often involved him making Steve Martin impressions. Eventually, he landed a spot on the Seattle Late Night Sketch Show, Almost Live. He soon quit his engineering job and focused entirely on his comedy career. He got his big break when one of the comedians and Nye needed to fill in seven minutes of programming. Nye decided to do comical scientific demonstrations. At Cornell's 10-year college reunion in 1987, Nye spoke with Sagan and told him he wanted to create a science television program. Sagan's advice? Focus on pure science. Kids focus on pure science rather than technology. It's advice that Nye clearly took to heart. Number 11, a love for sundials. A sundial uses the sunlight and its position in the sky to tell us the time of day. All you need to do is look at the gnomon, the thing that sticks out of the middle of the flat plate. The gnomon casts a shadow over markings that indicate different times of the day. Many of us might consider this a primitive piece of technology, but Bill Nye had big plans for it. When looking over designs for instruments that would be involved in NASA's 2001 Mars Surveyor Lander mission, Nye noticed that the solar panel calibration tool could easily be a sundial. When he first proposed the idea to NASA, they brushed it off and reasoned that clocks were already fully available. Nye eventually persuaded NASA to include a sundial on the Opportunity and Spirit rovers. The sundial would help calibrate the panoramic cameras. This tool was named the Mars Dial. You can find the phrase, two worlds, one sun, inscribed on the rovers. Number 10, dip your toes in science. The art of ballet goes back to around 1500 in Italy, originally known as ballerie. It took on its more French-sounding name when Catherine de Medici introduced the dance to the French court after marrying French king Harry II. For something that's been around for such a long time, what kind of new invention would be needed? Bill Nye had the answer. Even though he had long quit his job as an engineer and focused more on educational entertainment, Nye had a few inventions up his sleeve. After hearing about how young ballerinas were getting multiple foot surgeries, Nye decided to change the design that had been around for centuries. He invented a type of shoe that uses a toe box. That box helped protect the dancer's toes as well as provided support to the sole. When in point dancing, ballerinas would have more protection for their ankles and entire foot, where a dancer focuses their central gravity. Nye patented the slipper in 2002. Number 9, a NASA reject. 
Just because he got NASA to put a sundial on a Mars rover doesn't mean that it was always smooth sailing between Nye and the space exploration company. Ever wonder why someone like Bill Nye, a student of Carl Sagan, isn't an astronaut? Nye explains that he very much wanted to be an astronaut and explore space himself. He even applied to NASA's astronaut corps four times and was rejected every single time. Not only does Nye possess extensive knowledge in astronomy and cosmology, but he also said that when he was younger, he was a good athlete and wasn't prone to motion sickness. A big part of being an astronaut is that you have to handle the physical changes that come with being launched into space and living there. Still, it was a no from NASA. When asked in an interview why NASA didn't take him, Nye joked that perhaps it was because he was completely unqualified. Number 8. A Maker of Games Once upon a time, Bill Nye tried his hand at computer games. In 2012, he partnered with Game Desk to create a game called Aero 3D. Nye wanted this game to be specifically catered to children to teach them about aerodynamics via animations of birds. Game Desk, in collaboration with Iridescent Learning, the National Academy of Sciences, and the Office of Naval Research, the rest of the funding to launch the game was up to Nye. That was years ago. So what happened? Nye created a Kickstarter to come up with the rest of the funding, hoping to aim for $100,000, but only raised a little over $30,000. The unsuccessful Kickstarter is the reason none of us have gotten to play this cool app yet. Number 7. Smart Friends When you're younger, your parents tell you that you need to surround yourself with good people. You feed off the energy, lifestyles, and intelligence of said people. Even though Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson were smart long before they even met each other, we bet staying good friends helped keep them sharp. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist, science communicator, and an author. You've seen him in shows like Cosmos, A Space Time Odyssey, Star Talk, and even on the cartoon show Gravity Falls. Both Tyson and Nye were on the show Stargate Atlantis in 2016. Nye appeared in Food Evolution, a documentary narrated by Tyson. In addition, they both appeared on The Big Bang Theory in the same episode and even met Obama together. Number 6. Stay healthy. Mostly. Bill Nye not only cares about outer space and climate change, but also bodily health. He promotes an active lifestyle by exercising and urges others to eat right. It couldn't have just been his metabolism that's kept him so skinny all these years. Nye has his own vegetable garden, which was once destroyed by an ex following a nasty breakup. However, Nye does have his days where he indulges. Nye admitted that his favorite unhealthy meal consists of frying bacon and butter. He also loves cooking and often brings friends over in both his New York and Los Angeles homes for dinner parties. Number 5. Man of the Show Do you remember that old show that used to play on CBS called Numbers, spelled with a 3? The show's premise centered around an FBI agent and his brother, a mathematics prodigy, and a college professor. Together, the two solve crimes. Well, the show's creators based the character of the math genius on Bill Nye. Funny enough, Nye guest starred on the show in the second season back in 2005. Number 4. Bill Nye and Politics Anytime a celebrity delves into politics, things get a little messy. Over the years, Bill Nye has been more and more involved with political figures. If you were a kid during the original airing of Bill Nye the Science Guy show, it's probably strange to see him alongside people like Obama or talking to John Kerry via Twitter webcam. Why has he been making more appearances like this? Now more than ever, scientific subjects have become a more critical topic when it comes to political discussions. During Obama's presidency, Nye consulted the former president many times when it came to science matters. In an interview with AV Club in 2017, Nye said that he tries to remain as objective as he can and does his best to promote ideas that are what he believes are most scientifically accurate. Number 3. The Green Competition If it's eco-friendly, then you can be sure that Bill Nye approves. It comes as no surprise, then, that he has engaged in a competition with his Los Angeles neighbor, actor Ed Begley Jr. The two did their best to outdo each other when it comes to the size of their carbon footprint. Since Nye moved into the neighborhood, the two have been modifying their houses to be more and more eco-friendly over the years. That's the reason Nye added that vegetable garden we talked about earlier. It all began after Ed Begley filmed a short series called Living with Ed, which was about altering lifestyles to be more environmentally conscious. Around this time, Nye says the rivalry started after Begley noticed Nye's solar panels. Number 2. The Science Guy What do we all know Bill Nye best for? His Bill Nye the Science Guy series, of course. Most of us, however, are probably not aware of how it started. We mentioned before that Nye already had ideas of it in his head, and then spoke to Sagan about it in the 80s. Well, after he left Almost Live in 1993, Nye went on to appear in the live-action segments of Back to the Future animated series, where he played the Science Guy. From there, he created a show which ran from 1993 to 1998, and replayed in classrooms everywhere. In 1999, the National Science Board presented him with the Public Service Award for his work on the show and the impact it created on young citizens. Before we reveal the last part, we have a question for you. What was your favorite TV show growing up? Was it educational or purely entertainment? Let us know your favorites in the comments below.
Number one, Post Science Guy Life. Where is Bill now? In 2017, PBS released a documentary based on Nye's life. A year later, he played for the National League for the MLB All-Star Legends and Celebrity Softball Game. He's written several scientific books, often visits universities to give lectures, and is involved with many nonprofit organizations that promote science and education. In 2014, he appeared on the show Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, and again this year where he explained climate change. The 42nd segment went viral soon after. He is still the CEO of the Planetary Society, Two years ago, he released a series on Netflix called Bill Nye Saves the World, which is Bill Nye the Science Guy, but for older audiences. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos from us, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss an upload.